I'm so stupid. Alright, let me give you a little backstory of what happened. So, we played Truth or Dare. And, uh, Ryan kissed his, uh, the girl. The, I think it's, it's the girl that, uh, it's not Abby, it's not Emma, it's the other girl. And then Emma kissed, uh, Nick. Emma kissed Nick. Uh, Jacob got mad. He ran away. Abby also ran away. And that's basically what happened. And then we got to this old lady. So here we go. Oh, also, my video stopped recording. Because my brother walked in. So yeah. I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. That's all suspicious. That's chapter three, right? Chapter three? Yep. It's all in paradise. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Maybe I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Go this way, man. It's scary. Bro, she's having a time of her life with uh Nick and then and then Nick just made out, bro. Burning. Uh oh. That's a werewolf. Nick. Abby. Shout again. I'm over here. The werewolf. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Hey. Yeah, I know what you mean.
So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? It's true. I was just playing along. Yeah, it's just a game. <laughs> yeah, totally. That was a werewolf. Should we look? Oh my god, it's a werewolf. Bring the gun, dude. It's always, it's always the, the boyfriend who dies. I ain't no werewolf, bro. I think going fast. Bro, I'm scared. Bro, it's growling at me. What's happening? Is it another boar? It's too growly. See, it's, it's a bear or it's a werewolf? Bear. I'm gonna run. I don't care. Breathe! Breathe, Abby! Run! Sure, climb it. He's dead. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Abby's a... Abby's a werewolf. Abby got bit. Technique needs work. Hey, 
Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Of course. Something down here is a little more fun than the guy who could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having a moment, so... <laughs> Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Friends, are we 12? No, but Nick is... Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think Nick he's died, actually dude. naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the hell it's supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Whoa. The song's under there. Yo, who is that? Towels! The puzzle I take. Guess you really want that fleen? <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help! Help, I'm I'm drowning and I I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Ah! Okay, okay, 
Now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> Stay out here all summer, but I think we've got a little cream. Oh. This. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, well, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! Wanna dive in? Jacob? Ugh, dick. Oh no. Oh no, that was the car. That was the car. Social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too? Oh. So, what are you guys gonna do now? We're gonna keep playing. Yeah, just the three of us. Alright, Dylan. Truth or. It's not like heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey, what happened? Abby, what happened? Ryan! We gotta know what... She needs help. Give her a second. 
Dr. Nick, go! Okay, I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. I should kill Abby when I had the chance. Daughter. She's gonna turn into a werewolf eventually. and just how this game is. Oh god. Oh god. That's scary, dude. No! Is he blind or something?
on, come on, come on, come on. And he ain't gonna work. What are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Oh, that's so dirt. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Yeah. Stars, stars in the night. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves. Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. That creeped me out even more. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Sure. Yes, good, but... I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Let's do the tower. you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Chapter three. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, well, try drawing. Trying what? Well, can you draw what attacked you? Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm not attacked. Happy? Super happy. We need 
need to know what happened. All right. There was, there was a guy there, but there was some kind of some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Abby? Yeah, she, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. No, I don't want to touch that. Ryan. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Bro, sleepy the creeps. I just got chills. That's Jacob, right? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, I'll just sounding pretty good right about now. Yeah. Wait. It's right there. No, 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 no. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Christ, um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just, I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. I just tried to Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Sir, why put it in... Strawberry jelly. Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. Super fucked up. I gotta go get him. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this. Okay, it's not safe out there, dude. We gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! Sounds like a shot.
We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Ellie are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit! Be sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk, really. Yeah, I have an idea. You should have two bodies just in the wheelbarrow? Wow. So, Abby's fine. a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Follow, baby. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what, sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blech about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative. By mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, Whoa. the choice is there's one there. there. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I made my point. I'll be surprised okay. if this game would sit in. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh. 
Just a little heads up, that little monster didn't kill Nick. And he is not looking strong. I'm scared right now, dude. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which... I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Her kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. I'm trying to make a thumbnail at the same time I'm recording this. Oh, goody. Should I straight to the zip line? I'm just looking up. We're going straight over here. There's a ladder down, that's good. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Shark. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump. I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Either. Take this 
zip line. She is not dying. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Bro, you're so ugly. Spray! Boom! Perfect. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> We'll open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. That whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something. What? I don't know. Like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're probably right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? Well. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H. The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh.
Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are. So they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. You try the hang up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, this, this phone's no go. Has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. It's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does bears. everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so bears. for the argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> Probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hub. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it though? She needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. <sighs> uh, all right. You're right. Hey, well, you still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Yes. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
jump on it. Let's go. That's a relief. Just stay on it. That's why I am very questionable about. Oh, you again. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Huh. That time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Sure. Uh-oh. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Alright, last chapter four, we're in that here. Alright, peace out.